series, I should get a really good grade. I'm heading to school. Fingers crossed that there is no traffic. I just realized that I have three midterms this week, not just two. Yeah, that's a problem. I still have three days to learn everything by heart. It's gonna be okay. hours before my midterms and I have to cram. So I'm gonna take you along because cramming properly is a skill and you need to know how to cram. It's 5.30 and I haven't started to study for my midterms. I worked, I just didn't do what I was supposed to do. I have way more things to do this week than I expected and I don't know how I'm gonna pull it off. The way you approach cramming is gonna be different if you're taking a memorization heavy course versus a more technical one. When you're cramming, you're pretty much in desperation mode. You don't have time to learn everything, so you wanna focus on things that can and or will show up on the exam. The best way to do this is by finding exams from previous years. If you can't find anything or if what you're finding is a little too old, the next best thing is to treat your assignments as practice exams. So try solving them. At this point, you probably don't have time to solve every problem by yourself, especially if you're extremely behind. So the best thing you can do is to google the problems, find their solutions online, and write it down once. And once you're done solving the entire practice exam or assignment, do it again. But this time, don't refer to any documentation. works. I don't remember the last time I had such a successful cramming session. I cannot remember the last time that I walked out of an exam and felt confident about my work. I'm telling you, learning to cram properly is really important. I'm so happy.
car come was throwing me out the road. It's no longer due today.